Hey y'all, it's Takara with Hot Sauce Shiro here with another video. So this time I want to do like a how to start your own hot sauce business. So I did a story time before where I was telling how I started my business, but because I get asked a lot of questions, I think I want to do like a series um, to kind of delve deeper into how you can start your own business and um you know just information that was a bit hard for me to find and that i had to learn along the way so i was thinking of um maybe delving into okay like how to find your niche your target market how to actually perfect your recipes um how to legally start your own hot sauce company how to um do your hot sauce company like under the table until you start making some money okay um you know stuff like that i want to give some real valuable tips that i i don't know if it's out there but i didn't find it when i was starting so if i can make the process a bit easier for anybody I'm your girl. So before we do anything, hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. All right. All right. Let's get into it. So today I want to talk about how do you start making your hot sauces, right? So I'm not going to go too much into like how to come up with a recipe because there are so many, literally so many videos on YouTube where people tell you different ways to make um, hot sauce. Um, you can cook your hot sauce, you can ferment your hot sauce. I mean, there's a million, a million different type of ways you can make hot sauce. So I would suggest search on YouTube how to make hot sauce, watch some videos and find the method that works for you. You know, um, have an idea in mind as far as like if you want it super hot or you want it kind of mild like go based off of how you like your hot sauce that's the first thing first and foremost is you want to make a sauce that you like okay because if you like it more than likely there's millions of other people out there who gonna like it as well all right so that's what you want to do and then once you have a sauce that you like you want to get some like you want to um make some samples and you want to have people who who are going to taste it and give you honest feedback so it's all well and good to let your family and let your friends try it but you also want other people to try it who are they're not going to like stroke your ego or like try to be super nice to you they're going to tell you exactly you know if there's something wrong or if it's something that they don't like or if if they love it you know and also when you're sampling you want to ask for um specific feedback like um is it too spicy um is it too salty does it have too much garlic does it need more onions you know what i mean like ask specific questions because if you just go based off of oh yes it's good or no it's not good that doesn't really tell you much especially if someone says it's not good then you definitely want to know, okay, well, what do you think I should change? But even if a lot of people are telling you, yes, this is good, this is delicious, I love it, you still want to know um, different things that you probably can tweak because, you know, you may not hit it on the head the first, the first batch and maybe you will, you know, but still you want to know. And, but the reason why i said to make sure that you make a sauce that you like is because regardless of what feedback you get you have to stay true to yourself and you have to stand behind the sauce that you make so you know be open to feedback but also if if what someone is telling you is like way off from what your target um recipe you know the result of your hot sauce is then you know you could take certain some things with a grain of salt is what i'm saying so you gotta you know you know you'll know what advice to take and what advice you know you can kind of leave behind but that's very important that people outside of your friends and your family try it even if you have to ship it to people like what i did um 
Yes, I let a lot of friends and family try it, but I also um, let co-workers try it. I um, I had people who are on my social media, like on my Facebook page, and um, and I just put a post like, hey, I have some hot sauce that, you know, is not on the market yet. Would you like to try it? And people who I didn't even know like that, you know, were like, yeah, I'll try it. And so they did, and they gave me feedback, and that's part of... Um, how I got to, you know, the recipes that I have today. Um, another thing as far as perfecting your recipes is that you want to convert convert your recipe to um, grams or, you know, a, weight, a weighted measurement. Um, I prefer grams because it's a bit more um, precise. So, like, if you're like me and you eyeball everything that you cook, it could be a bit challenging but what I did was although my prototypes I um I just kind of hey I think this how much vinegar I think this how much this you know um even though I did it like that but still I kept in mind like okay I think that was a cup you know I think that was half a cup I think that was three-fourths you know what I'm saying I think that was a teaspoon I wrote those recipes I wrote those um, measurements down and then the next time I made the sauce I used the rest of the measurements that I actually used like as far as cups and this and that and then once it and it tastes the same so once I did that then I came back and I use a scale, a kitchen scale, which they're easy to find. You can find them on um, Amazon. Local, your local grocery store may have it, like where they have the, um, you know, the kitchen utensils and stuff like that. So that's easy to find. Um, but yeah, so the next time I came back, I actually measured out, okay, that was a cup. This time I poured it into my bowl that was on my scale. You know what I mean? And then I, I converted it from cups and teaspoons and tablespoons and all that stuff. And I converted it to grams. And that way my recipe tastes the same every single time. So every time I make my recipe, I always weigh it. Okay. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to test... Um, the shelf life of your sauces. So your sauce should have a pH of 4.6 or below. And that is a shelf stable sauce. You want your sauce to be able to um, to stay un, um, unrefrigerated for a year in the bottle, okay, unopened. And then once it's open, it's okay if it goes in the refrigerator or whatever, actually it's best that you suggest that on the bottles and we'll go deeper into this but um to test the ph they have ph testers that you can order on amazon about 15 dollars. i would suggest getting the actual little machine thingy um it looks like um i don't know it, it's like a stick or whatever but it's a digital and it's like 15 bucks i could put a link for one below um but yeah those are super easy to find as well the next thing that you want to do is you want to create a bottling process for your sauce and even if you're not ready to launch your business or you know whatever at this moment it's best that you have certain procedures and practices in place um it does take a while to to kind of get things to a level that you want but it's okay you you're not going to start off perfect and everything is not going to be a one when you start but that's not the main thing as long as you're open to learning as you go that's the most important thing you're gonna make you're gonna make a lot of mistakes you know even with the tips that you can find on my channel and and you can find elsewhere you know you're still gonna make mistakes so you know that's not what's most important what's most important is that you don't give up and that you keep going so um you're gonna find a bottling process so like i said my sauces are fruit based um hot sauces so um what i learned with sauces like that is that you want to bottle while they're hot um being that i bottle while they're hot i can't use plastic um bottles or i don't and another reason i don't use plastic bottles because it changes the flavor of my sauce 
So these are things that you have to play with as well. If you have a sauce that you can use plastic, by all means, use plastic bottles because it will be a lot cheaper for you. And then, you know, that leaves your profit margin a bit higher. So if you can use plastic, again, use plastic. Um, but yeah, so for me, I have to bottle hot. And then, and I sterilize my bottles first. I bottle while the sauces are hot. And then what I have to do is put the cap on, invert it, turn the bottles upside down, put them in the box, and let them sit like that for at least a minute. And the heat from the sauces, it helps sterilize the bottle as well. So it, when I invert it, it sterilizes the neck of the bottle as well as the bottle cap, all right? Things that you learn as you go. All right, so you gotta find a bottling process that works best for you. Um, and um, yeah, figure it out. Like I said, don't give up. And um, I'm gonna do more of these videos, but I just want to come out here with a few quick tips because like I said, these are things that, you know, nobody really told me and I couldn't really find it. Like I really, I'm really good at researching and I was having a really hard time when I started out finding this type of information, all right? So make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, okay? <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all those good things. Um, you wanna find me, I am everywhere at Hot Sauce She Wrote. That's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, which I don't really use that much, but whatever, I'm on there too. And, um, what else? Yeah. Oh, to order these amazing hot sauces, which I don't know if you guys know what they look like, but this is one. This is my, um, Plain Flame. This is actually the newest flavor that I have. So all of my flavors that I have, um, that I started with, they're all fruit based. So I have a peach, a pineapple, a lychee, a guava hot sauce, and then I also have a summer mango blaze. That one is only available from June to August. Sometimes I do it in May if I can, you know, get my mangoes available in May. But um, then I recently, um, October of 2020, I came out with a plain flame flavor. <laughs> and it's so delicious and it's so hot and it's so yummy. Oh my God, so good. But anyway, that's that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me, um, comment below with any questions that you may have, any feedback, anything you wanna hear, you know, I'm here. I'm an open book. I'm gonna tell you anything except my personal recipe, okay? But anything else you need to know, I am an open book. I will tell you whatever it is you need to know. And a lot of this stuff doesn't only pertain to hot sauce. It pertains to other businesses as well. Um, so yeah, believe in yourself. I love you guys until we meet again.